Monday morning. Good morning. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Good morning. Bank holiday yesterday. Some of the team were in, some weren't. So not much has happened here apart from plastering and tiling. Oh, take a look at the tiling in a second. Take a look at the plastering. While we're down here, you will see our corner glazed window is now installed. We've got a bit of a, uh, a situation above, so we need to we need to reduce the height of the window, which has been done. This allows a blind box internally. Now, this has left us with a gap about seventy millimeters on the top. Um, we were discussing options. I didn't really want a flat trim. Um, we've got so much detail in this corner that I think flat trim is going to look stupid and silly. So, what we have come up with, it's not going to be architrave, but similar. So. We're going to get some architrave detail, probably a pine exterior coat of life out of it. And then we're going to finish the detail above the window with a profile trim like this. Um, it just is, it, it adds to the detail of the corner and it complements the, the craftsmanship in it. You don't want it just a normal flat trim because it takes away from the nice looking aspects of that corner um it's my favorite corner of the build that's why i'm banging on about it so much but i'll take you up there now and show you what i'm on about okay so in a nutshell we have our gap here our plan is to infill with timber and then create a profile like this so it works nicely on our seal so it doesn't it doesn't stick out past this steel sorry and then it gives us a nice profile sort of finish on there great idea for myself i must say We've got Rich yep. just finishing off bed four, so he's installing the ridges, <laughs> installing all the bonnets on the hips. Renderer came in actually and rendered. So, internal view of our corner glazed window, we've got a blind box going above the big sliders. They were meant to come in last week, uh, no, sorry, week before last, then last week, and now this week. So, um, we've got blind bolts down in here, so foot front is feed for this, and that's the reason why we've had to drop that down, so we can keep all that flush in an internal view. You've got your, how do I do this? Your blind box, and then the ceiling just runs through. Uh, plaster as much as we can down here. The study is now ready for plastering. We've got, we have got, we have got, a stop bead here, so we need to install a stop bead here because we've got some joinery coming into this cupboard to hide all the new fuse board, uh, fuse board all the electrics, and things like that. So we can plaster up to there, finish the room. Always <laughs> wears the craziest shorts. Okay, going down the brickwork one. If we do it, that's fine, but we need to know because we've got all the apples in the Yeah, you get the RL. You get your mastic man in to do it. At the end of all the job, where he's got, I mean, that corner, I've got another plug on the corner of it where yeah, it's coming out from. It doesn't stick to any dust or anything, it'll stick to it and it'll yeah. oh, make all the thing in there. I'd rather I see, I'd rather see mastic on them corners, on them sides than trim. Because, I mean, what sides are what you're going to do a 20 mil trim? Yeah, actually. I think, I think on the. We trim all we have to trim, bottom and tops. So yeah, it's like that. And old brickwork is out. Yeah. And everything new will go. I mean, if I speak, if I speak to Paul, is there a, is there a possibility of once the book's cleaned down and done, could we then get you guys back to mastic the edges? Yeah, we should have it. Yeah, we should. I'll give him a bell stay then. 300 and we'll... mil, yeah? Is it the same? 12 inches. 300 millimeter. It's there. It's fucking horrendous. <laughs> no, that's 250. 300s. No, you've just locked it in. 200, 200, 300. I can't lock it. 15 mil, bro. 20 millimetres out. Ready? You can't get angry about 250 it. 250 mil. I don't know what mil is. 260. 260, look at that. There's 250. Bang on a manic. First floor family bathroom. Sean from Goats Manor has come in and given the detail of the Hickscom corner. So we've got this dropping down. We need to grow inside these. We've got some touch-ups to do on the tops of the tiles, but that is the detail. So we're three boxes short. They're coming in tomorrow. Carry that round above the bath and down the side. And then we've got a mirror here. Beautiful work. I think they were quite tricky to install because they're all a bit different sizes. Uh, but we've got the second fixed carpentry well underway. So bed one, bed two, bed three, 
leaves the door going into bed one en suite are complete. We just need to install the eye muggery on the doors. Plus, we're waiting for the doors to be dipped. This is also done. Um, Ian and Alfie are back in today. Ian is just in installing plaster to the reveals. Now the windows are finished. The window boards are done. Bed four. <laughs> Alfie's loving life as per, happiest man in Surrey, plastering underway in here, we're nearly done now actually, um, Sean is also just going to be in bed one today, um, I'll show you the tiles now, got these lovely, lovely tiles, and then we've got a chevron tile going inside of the niches, so a different tile on the back here just creates a nice little detail, we actually need to bring this out and install a line, but we can do that with quick kiss. Two windows. So the two windows that the manufacturer messed up is this one in bed four ensuite and also the family bathroom. They're coming in this week and then we're done on the windows, just waiting on the external doors. <laughs> Morning, Thursday morning. Things are going well on site. Still waiting on these sliding doors. Two weeks ago they're meant to be here. Last week they were meant to be here. Now they're coming next week. Just the frame though, not the glass, but doesn't matter. We need the frame in so we can do the screed. So we're just holding out on laying the insulation and unfill heating for the minute because they need to go in. Ducting is now installed for the kitchen island. <coughs> We've also got uh, also got ducting, sorry. So we've also got ducting over in the fireplace area for the log burning stove. We've hacked back the brickwork and that is now complete. Get out of here, mister, I don't want to be on film. <laughs> 
the study is now 90% finished plastering wise we just need to do this one wall so like I spoke about I need to install a stop bead here and then we can do a skim to this wall but this is drying out nicely I just need to make sure to open up the windows especially as we've got hot weather so everything can dry out nicely and we can start installing, installing second fixed carpentry. So into the snug, I want to give you a little tour on the double door opening. So we've now fast forwarded these reveals. <clears throat> we've got a Unico double door system. So the doors open together and they close together. This is being fitted internally of this room. So the, um, pocket door frame will be installed here. Then we just need to timber out that side and have that all flush and smooth. And that is that in there. We're just waiting on the external doors there. I think about two weeks because we had a bit of back and two. As you know, I messed up the order. I'm just human. So upstairs, second bit's carpentry. We are constructing bespoke cupboards in these little alcoves. So we've got our moisture resistant 18mm NDF. We create our styles on the side, which bear the side fillers. We've got a header, a base, and then we'll have our push to open door. So this is all sleek and nice. Aiden's carried on around the skirt in around the front to keep it all uniformed. Inside of these cupboards, we've got shelving. There's one also going in. In the bed one ensuite, puts in that little hubby hole there. Carpentry in bed one is done, bed two done, bed three done. We're waiting on fitting the ironmongery to the doors because they need to be dipped. In the cupboard, a little bit of a story here. You might show my ply a clip here, actually, of us installing ply, installing ply internally of this wall because there was going to be a ladder going up. That's not that happening. So we're just going to do a normal... Hold down ladder, so we need to uh, build a bespoke MDF door coming down onto here and then a ladder coming down. Pocket door needs to be installed, but all the doors were delivered today. Family bathroom. Noisy. Um, so we have our hexagon tile detail, as I spoke about, coming round, dropping down. We need to grout in these edges and get them finished off nicely. We have stone and winter boards going on. Bath going in here, so tiling is complete now. We just need to grout. We'll take a look at bed four en suite because they are my favourite tiles of the build. Bedroom four. So drying out nicely. Same story. Please make sure all the windows are open. Um, Dan is just cutting it out. What are you doing, Dan, in here, mate? And then when this board was put on, the wires were brought out a little bit higher than they should have been. So we're basically just printing them out of our. And you're trying to keep it as less damage as possible. <laughs> Who can I blame for that, mate? Uh, possibly me, but I can't quite Okay, well, <laughs> base wages there, not stop your neck, <laughs> my Tiles I'm on about. So, in here, we have our chevron tiles. In here, different tiles on the side of the niche. It's a really nice tile. I really like this little detail. Um, we've also got a little splash back there that you'll see behind the sink unit. Why is that window seed? Uh, it was wrong. S off. Window. Again. So, bedroom four, roof, tiling now complete. We've got our bonnets all mucked in. Rich has done his signature little detail in the end of the ridge there. Christ, lost my foot in there. Everything is looking beautiful. Matches in nicely, everything flows. See the garage there from up here. We have installed now, apart from one that we just spoke about, all of our windows. So these are a flush casement, A gate grey, PVC, and they're throughout the build. Some beautiful scenes being seen, seen, seen being seen from the windows. Let me redo that bit, Shay. So whilst I'm on the ladder, balancing, fascia now nearly complete. We've got our vented white soffit. And then we've got our white fascia boards throughout the build. <laughs> Render drying out nicely, nearly fully dry now. Just need some paint on that. Painters are starting on Wednesday, so we'll get them to start on that first thing. Obviously, you know about this detail above the window here, so this needs to be a profile trim along here to keep that detail. You don't want a flat trim here because it's going to look rubbish. Um, window fitters need to come and fit a trim on this corner. We are getting there. Come on. Ah. Uh, Josh says it's got to be natural. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> morning friday things are going well 
apart from a on a skill saw. So in the bedroom one en suite, tiling is now fully complete, but we need to do tiled skirt. So the original tiling scope is complete. Um, we've got our niches installed, worked out beautifully with a full tile. Many, many weeks ago, we worked it out. I said, we even worked it out and it's worked perfectly. We've got a recess mirror going in this section here. So that's been left out. We've also got bespoke cupboard going in here. So we're going to do a, a push to open MDF, MR MDF door. Um, and then they can store some items in there. We've got a corner bath going in here. It's the reason why we've left these coming down because the bath is going to come to around this point and then it gives the look that it's fully told. That's it in here. Windows installed, we've got two more to be installed. Um, pocket door actually has now been installed. This is an anti-slam both ways. And then, beautiful. We just need to install the Mario Mungry onto that and then we are done. Bedroom two holds the bath. I believe this is the bath for the family bathroom. So it's gonna go into the corner and then it, it seals off that corner nicely. And then you've got a lovely big bar. I don't know if I could fit in that one. It's, I'm not even going to try to end up breaking it. I know what Shay wants me to do and I'm not doing it. Coming on through. Family bathroom. Now fully tiled. Grouted, lovely. So we've got this hex dial detail. We just need to finish off these edges. The spoke mirror going in this section here. So Paul needs to come out and measure that. This is where the bath is going. So that bath is actually for bedroom one en suite, not for here. My mistake. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is one of the windows actually here. <laughs> Mismeasured twice. <laughs> Bedroom four on suites. Now fully tiled. This is my favourite tiling in the entire job. Really nice detail. Sean's done a great job here. Also have one of our new doors installed. Lovely. So they're a nice 40 mil thick door, solid core. So they're really nice, heavy duty. Couldn't get the exact style for the existing doors. So we got these as a close match. They were readily available and they were in the sizes we need. Customer was happy with it. So we've done it. Bedroom four is drying out nicely. Aiden is just in bedroom three now getting... What are you doing, mate? Winterboard for Alfie. Winterboard, yes. Winterboard for Alfie downstairs so he doesn't lose his mind. Okay, so going into the ground floor of the property, study, nearly plastered, we've got one last wall to do, which Alfie is doing now. You'll see the soldier with his hurt wrist, wrapped up, ready for war, happy as ever. Bit more depth in the uh, acting to the ground floor, so this is for the log burning stove to allow air into the burner. And then we've got our ducting over there for the island like we spoke about yesterday. Still need to source a trim for above the corner windows. Still need to plaster some bits. The snug is ready for the pocket door like we spoke about. Utility is fully plastered, we just need to install the lining. Still waiting on the sliding door. When that's going to be, I do not know. I do not know. Uh, so we can't do anything more on the floor down here. We can't scream, we can't underfloor, nothing. <laughs> the guys are just out the back um, picking off bits of drainage. So we're installing our bottle gullies. We are tidying up uh, some of the water main as there was a leak that's been going on from very early days in the project. I think uh, the ground workers accidentally went through it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't actually met Dale. <laughs> We're we'll going to have a uh, little chat with him. So into the courtyard of the big field, Dale and Dan are just installing the drainage. So we need to do our bottle gullies for the waste. Dan's just preparing some bits there. Dale is digging away. You haven't actually met Dale yet, so we'll do the introduction. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, things are going well out here. We just need to repair that water main down here like I was speaking about. In a nutshell, that's it. That's it. Great example of some of the windows there. 
Jutsen. Here we have the monkeys digging their hole. <laughs> Flying back around again. Flying back around again. So that is the end of this week's episode. Thank you, as always, for the support. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Click here for the start of the journey and click here for last week's episode. Precious. Hi, precious.